The S-500 is a new-generation surface-to-air missile system. It is designed for intercepting and destroying intercontinental ballistic missiles, as well as hypersonic cruise missiles and aircraft, for air defense against airborne early warning, and control and for jamming aircraft. With a planned range of 600 km, 370 m, for anti-ballistic missile, ABM, and 500 km, 310 m, for air defense the S-500 would be able to detect and simultaneously engage up to 10 ballistic hypersonic targets flying at a speed of 5 km per second, 3.1 m per second, 18,000 km per hour, 11,000 miles per hour, to a limit of 7 km per second, 4.3 m per second, 25,000 km per hour, 16,000 miles per hour. It also aims at destroying hypersonic cruise missiles and other aerial targets at speeds of higher than Mach 5, as well as spacecraft. The altitude of a target engaged can be as high as 180 200 km. 110 120 me. Citation needed. It is effective against ballistic missiles with a launch range of 3,500 km, 2,200 me. The radar reaches a radius of 3,000 km, 1,300 km for the EPR-01 square meter. Other targets it has been announced to defend against include unmanned aerial vehicles, low Earth orbit satellites, and space weapons launched from hypersonic aircraft, drones, and hypersonic orbital platforms. The S-500 is designed to replace the S-400, which Russia has deployed to Syria and has sold to Iran and Turkey. We are completing trials of the S-500's launcher, components of a multifunctional locator and missile defense locator, equipped chassis for a command post, and transport units for an early warning radar system. The system will be highly mobile and will have rapid deployability. Experts believe that the system's capabilities can affect enemy intercontinental ballistic missiles at the middle and end portions of flight, but reports by Al Mizanti say that the external target designation system, RLS Boron is DM and missile defense system A135 radar Don 2N. will be capable of mid-early flight portion interceptions of enemy ballistic missiles, which is one of the final stages of the S-500 project. It is to have a response time of less than 4 seconds, compared to the S-400's less than 10. In May 2018, Russia conducted the longest-range surface-to-air missile test to date with the S-500. According to reports citing unnamed sources familiar with U.S. intelligence on the program, the S-500 was able to hit a target almost 300 miles 482 kilometers, away, which is 50 miles further than the previous record. The S-500 will feature the 40N6 extended range guided missile capable of engaging targets up to 155 miles away. It would be able to detect and attack up to 10 ballistic missile warheads flying at speeds of over 4 miles a second. On 4 June 2019, the Russian Ministry of Defense posted a video showing the successful interception of the test target which was a test of a new anti-ballistic missile system in the form of a long-range surface-to-air missile. Though the nature of the air defense system which was being tested was not mentioned it has been widely speculated to have been a test of the S-500 Prometheus long-range surface-to-air missile system. The S-500 radar was tested in late 2019. The National Interest reported that the S-577 N6 and 77 N6 N1 missiles can intercept hypersonic cruise missiles and ICBMs, as well as aerial targets flying at the speed of over 5 Mach. The manufacturer has claimed that the S-400 is capable of shooting down low-orbit satellites and certain types of spacecraft in near space. The characteristics inherent in the S-500 surface-to-air missile make it possible to destroy hypersonic weapons of all modifications, including in near space, Sergei Sarabakin, the head of Russia's aerospace forces told the Defense Ministry's Red Star publication.
With S-400 units still being shipped to anti-aircraft regiments across Russia and exported throughout the world, widely replacing the S-400 with its more expensive S-500 counterpart would be a massive financial and logistical commitment. Whereas the introduction of the S-300 and S-400 is separated by about three decades, this would an abnormally short upgrade cycle of just 10 years, stated Episcopos.